Yes, back at Four Golf Chester. I've been away for a while and it is nice to get back for some good old fashioned testing. It's whack v whack, it's head to head, it's Sim versus Maverick. <laughs> Yes, there's been a lot of chat about these two drivers that I've got in my hand. Both come with big marketing claims that uh, tend to annoy people a little bit, I think. But they've got a story on how they achieve the, the data, the numbers, the performance, I suppose, that is going to be beneficial to average golfers. And that's what we're going to put to the test. It's going to be a good old-fashioned shootout in a head-to-head, -head, both in here and out on the golf course. And we'll see if we can see any difference between what we see in performance and what we see actually in reality. They're both the Max products. They have Max in their title. They're both they're a little bit different. There's plenty of adjustability going in there. Like I said, they each achieve their sort of fast ball speeds and forgiveness in different ways. That's not something we're going to go into today. So I'm going to get up from this chair and I'm going to start in some golf balls, collect some data. And that's where we'll start this from. Then we'll take it on the golf course and see if we can find the differences between the two, who they might appeal to, how they're getting the numbers, how they're achieving their performance. And ultimately, if there is a winner, or not. Right, so data collected on both of these clubs. We'll go into it later. And if you've been watching the, uh, or whichever way these go out, they've been recorded in a very similar fashion because I've done the three wood in exactly the same way. Um, and at this point, I'll say exactly the same thing. They are so different in terms of sound and feel. It's unreal. Opposite end of the spectrum. Sorry to repeat it, but they literally are. Like I said, repeating. If you've watched the three wood video, they're very much different at address. And again, that more. It's a totally different shape in the Maverick Max product. It's almost really sort of been pulled out and stretched, if you like, uh, like we used to see in the sort of, uh, was it the LS Tech from, uh, from Ping? But a real elongated shape. From the crown side uh, at a dress, I much prefer the look of the tailor-made. I've got to be honest, it sits much nicer on my eye. Uh, but in terms of the sound element, that's going to be very much a personal preference. So data collected, no more to be said. We're just gonna get these out on the fairways, hit some off the tee, see how the sound changes when we're not inside of here because it's the first time I've hit them side by side and it was very noticeable in here, but whether or not that's the same out on the fairways, I'll tell you that a little bit more about the data and my overall opinion on, like I said, is there a winner out of these two or is there nothing to split them? That's a decent start for Maverick. Maverick Max, and once again, it's a long carry and a really high ball flight. That's the first thing that I'll take from the range. We'll get into numbers in a bit, but it defied what I read in terms of launch, and it surprised me a little bit. But in terms of first ball, out on the course, probably just lost, uh, drifted off the fairway. But exactly the same performance as what I've seen in terms of what is happening in that situation, that false situation that is, uh, that is dry ball data. Once again, the sound difference, you can probably pick that up, it's, they're almost, that one's hung onto the fairway. A little less curvature in it, a lot lower ball flight. And again, without repeating what I've just said on the first shot, they pretty much replicated exactly what I was seeing in terms of dry ball data. Different sound, different ball flights. Let's see where they ended up in terms of, because they're in very, very similar positions in terms of where they finished. So they've got to that same position in different ways. Let's go and see how far they are apart. Right, that was the first ball, that again was the Maverick ball. There's literally about a yard, it's a straight line across the fairway to where this ball finished up, which was obviously the sim. Absolutely nothing to split them. The only thing that split them was quality of strike. They both got there in different ways in terms of ball flight. They were quite noticeably different, but ultimately finished 
in the same position. I just want to make a reference because we'll see how this affects it in terms of a spin number. We were playing downwind there, so no effect in terms of, no great effect uh, in terms of uh, spin on the ball. So we're going to play a hole that will face the opposite way, we'll play into the wind and see how much impact it then plays in where these two drivers finish. Right, okay, so as I said in the previous clip, slightly different proposition and we'll see what it's, uh, how spin impacts because without giving too much away in terms of the data, there is a difference between these two models in terms of what spin they were producing, at least like I said, in dry ball conditions. So we're into the wind here on this uh, par five and we'll see what it does, like I said, in terms of uh, where these two finish. If I can get two similar strikes, that is. Well, that's absolutely solid. Once again, a higher ball flight. I mean, I couldn't have asked to hit that any better, to be honest with you. That's, that's as good as I've got, so... Sim, you're up against it. Right, ball number two. Like I said, that did so well. And against the wind, what I liked about that was a low. Let's uh, get the secrets out of the back. That's a more spinny driver, let's say. But the ball flight was good. It didn't look as though it was doing anything other than firing straight through it. But again, quality of strike was really good. So, you know, let's be realistic. Um, that's a huge impact on things, isn't it? And again, pretty decent to be fair. Lower ball flight, you'll pick it up off the other camera, hopefully. We'll go and see where they uh, are in terms of, because again, I don't reckon there's a lot between them. We'll find out when we get down there. Totally different ball flight, probably a slightly better swing and strike what I put on the max to be fair. But like I said, it'll be interesting. Let's get down there and see where those two have finished up. Right, so once again, what we're looking at is pretty much a straight line there. So we've got, I'd give it maybe 10 yards at best. This is the sim ball, that over there in the uh, right-hand side is the ball of the max. And like I said, the first thing to mention is they were incredibly different in terms of their strike, like I said, and very little to split them. Once again, they each arrive in their position in a different way. One was all about carry, the other one was about a lower ball flight and uh, a bit less spinny, and I would suggest it probably ran a bit and the interesting thing would be is in the height of the summer when these are firm i've got a feeling that one the lower spinning ball probably would have snuck past the max but who knows that's one up for debate but clearly there's very little to separate these drivers now it's fair to say this isn't the best place to finish a video with driver because this is tight to say the least right sim max first come on it's gonna have to be a good one that's absolutely bang on. You can't go fully straight because you run out of fairway. And that's just cut round the corner a bit. Did exactly what I wanted it to do. No complaints there. Once again, lower ball fight getting repetitive, but that's exactly what it did. Now for the turn of the Sim Max. Don't let me down, Sim. We've got to finish this video off with two decent balls. So looking for exactly the same thing, but uh, I'll be interested to see. See if I'm putting another decent swing on. I haven't drove too bad today. Now that has gone straight. Could be too long, but it's... That's okay, actually. That's okay. You'll pick that ball flight off the, uh, off the other camera. Didn't cut, shut the face down a bit and stayed down that left-hand side. But two de decent strikes to finish. It was interesting, like I said, with that short face, it just also de-lofted a little bit, didn't have quite the ball flight that we got uh, on previous shots off the tee that we've hit with the max. Summary is an easy one. Let's throw some dry ball data, first of all, and go back to the beginning of this video. And there's some notable differences. Like I said, spin number was higher, like I said, with the max. And you see that with the Sim Max, that is, Jesus, with the Maverick Max, that is, there's too many Maxes around here. Um, and that impacted on what the suggested overall total would be. And don't forget, that's only a, a, a guesstimate. So that's very much uh, not really bore out with what we've seen out here. Um, so yeah, the Sim 
product, Simmax, is definitely the lower spinning of the two. It's a different ball flight, certainly out here on the, uh, on the course I've seen that. It's a noticeable difference. And it's once again, what suits you. you the Max product, it's kind of, it's a little bit shuttered address. I don't see that as much in terms of what I see with the Sim. And the sound is totally different. So it's down to you, but this, I think for me to put a winner on it, I don't think there is in this one. I've done the three wood video and I would clearly pick one or another, but with this, no, I wouldn't. I think it's very much down to the individual. They're what I call uh, individual nuances, p uh, preferences, personal preferences, sound, feel, ball flight, how it sits at address. Shaft head combination is again imperative that you get that bit right because like I said, anyone suggests that custom fitting is not mega important, then it is been bore out in this because believe me, what I originally tested Sim Max in, shaft head combination, and what I'm testing it with today are so far removed, it's untrue. So you've got to get that element right as well. But like I said, maybe I'm preaching to people who already know that. Anyway, that's me done. As ever, thank you for watching. It's a fantastic day down here at Conway Golf Club, but only for the next uh, eight hours because we've got a storm on the way. So uh, yeah, made the most of today. See you soon.